In today's video, we're gonna be making a kitchen or barbecue, or as we call it in South Africa, a braai cart. While I'm barbecuing, I have no place to put my utensils down. So this is just gonna be a small cart that sits next to the barbecue that I can put things down on. The secondary function of this cart is that I wanna have a space to hold the charcoal that I use underneath that main top shelf. So there's gotta be space for that. The first step is gonna to be to cut all of these boards to length. The next step is gonna be for us to join these boards and this is where it gets pretty cool. We're gonna take one of the legs and we're gonna notch out enough so that we can take one of the rails and slot it in. So to make this all easier, I'm gonna clamp these boards together and mark them out in one go and then make the cuts in one go. Now we repeat the process on the other side. Make sure to spread the glue everywhere and get it on all the surfaces. I'm gonna wait for this to dry, then do the same thing for the other set of legs. So when we come back, both of those will be done. Now that these two halves of the leg assemblies are finished drying, the next step is to take them and join them together with two short rails. This joint is gonna be a butt joint with end grain, which is very weak, but we're gonna come back later and reinforce it with some dowels. I left this to dry overnight so these joints are as strong as they're going to be. So the next step is to put a couple of dowels into each corner. To add some extra detail and functionality, I'm gonna take this 19 millimeter dowel rod and slide it through these two extra bits of rail. That's gonna give me somewhere to hang things, but it's also gonna add a little bit of extra flair to the overall design. Okay, so everything has been sanded, including the slats, which we're gonna to add to the bottom shelf later. So the next thing is to apply some finish. This is the finish that I'm gonna be applying to the leg assembly. It's a water-based polyurethane. And water-based polyurethane is great for two reasons. Firstly, it doesn't yellow the wood like an oil-based finish does. And secondly, it dries really quickly. So you can get a lot of coats onto the project in quick succession. The 
The top for this barbecue cart is going to be made of Merbau. This is a hardwood that they use very often here in Australia for decking. Once you mill the ridges off the bottom, it's actually really cool stuff. It's a really nice hardwood. And I think this is going to contrast nicely against the pine. For a finish, I'm using this tin. It's a mixture of polyurethane, boiled linseed oil, and mineral turpentine. This can has sort of evolved over the past couple of weeks uh, with bits going into it. But I think at this stage it's about 25% polyurethane, which is fine because that gives the finish more of an oil feel, which is what I want for this. But it's still got that tiny bit of polyurethane in there to just build up a small amount of a film. So I'll wipe on a good amount of the oil. I'll leave this to sit probably for an hour or two and then come back and wipe off the excess and I'll do this two, maybe three times. To make it easier to move this cart around, I'm going to put it on wheels and I found these very cool little casters. So I'm going to use two of these on one end and then on this end I'm going to use a couple pieces of the leftover dowel and this will just mean that I can lift it up on one end onto wheels, push it around, put it back down and then these will stop it from moving around. <laughs> 